I'd like to take you back, if I may, to 2020. In the middle of the pandemic, when we were all sad and lonely and without the people we loved the most. Up on the Great Orm, there were goats. Wonderful, silly and naughty goats. They'd never been down the hill before. And with less people around, they realised they could come down. So they did, in their droves. They ate hedges and bushes and walked around our shopping centres that had knocked down their trees and their hills for years to come. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats Gruff. Curly, the smallest Billy Goat, Larry, the middle Billy Goat, and Mo, the largest and eldest Billy Goat, who lived in a field in a green valley, full of wildflowers, tall blades of the most delicious grass, and fresh, clean water as they basked in the sunshine. They loved to eat the grass in their meadow, for sadly, their field was now brown and barren, because they were greedy goats, and they'd eaten every last blade of grass, even every single leaf on the overhanging bushes and every red berry. But they were still hungry. They looked in plastic bags, they looked in empty McDonald's cartons, nothing. In the distance, they could see a field that was full of lush, sweet, scrummy grass. But alas, there was only one way to get to it. Over a rickety bridge that went over a fast running stream that led to a dangerous waterfall with a large and perilous drop to spiky rocks below. But under the bridge lived a terrible troll called Trevor and he was always hungry too. Trevor's belly began to rumble. His clothes were a mismatch of those he had eaten. He wore a flat cap, a tight waistcoat, as well as ripped trousers from trying to get them on. He had a warty nose, spiky red hair on the top of his head, eyebrows that looked like chunky caterpillars that joined in the middle, and mossy-like hair coming out of his ears and out of his nose. He slumped over as he walked from sleeping all scrunched up and from defending the bridge from cheeky goats trying to eat the grass in his fields. The goats and the sheep would often tell each other to stay clear of Trevor, who despite his name would gobble up any unsuspecting creature who walked over the rickety bridge. There was nothing he liked better than to eat a nice, juicy billy goat. The little billy goat was the first to reach the bridge. He carefully put one hoof on the wood, just to check if it was all right, trying to make as little sound as possible. And then another, and then another. Once all four hooves had managed to be placed on the bridge, it started to shake from side to side. But because it was so rickety, however hard he tried, his hooves went trip, trap, trip, trap on the wooden planks. Suddenly, there was a huge roar. Roar! Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And out from under the bridge loomed the troll, Trevor. Quaking in his hooves, Little Billy Goat Gruff managed to squeak. It's only me. I'm only going to look for some grass to eat. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to eat you for breakfast, lunch and tea. Oh, no, said Little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm just Little Billy Goat Gruff. Why don't you wait for my brother? He's much bigger than me. And much tastier. His eyes widened. As the, as the troll said, There's barely any meat on your bones. You're scrawny. I'll be picking you out of my teeth for weeks. Away with you. So the greedy troll decided to wait 
and little Billy Goat Gruff skipped over the bridge before he could change his mind and began to eat the fresh green grass on the other side. The other goats saw little Billy Goat Gruff eating the fresh green grass and were jealous because, well, they wanted some too. So the middle Billy Goat Gruff, Larry, went down to the bridge and began to cross the stream. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went his middle size hooves. Again, the troll loomed out from under the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He roared, quaking in his hooves. Middle sized Billy Goat Gruff, Larry, managed to say in his softest voice, It's only me. I'm following my brother, little Billy Goat Gruff, so I can eat the sweet grass. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to eat you for breakfast, lunch and tea. Oh, no, Mr Troll. You wouldn't want to eat me. I'm not big enough to fill you up. Wait until my big brother comes along. He's much tastier than me. Hmm, thought the troll. He looked Larry up and down. Ugh, you're all covered in hair and I'll be getting that stuck in my teeth for weeks, said the troll. And middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff had done it. He scampered over the bridge and began to eat the sweet green grass with little Billy Goat Gruff. They watched as big, bold... Billy Goat Gruff, because he was jealous and couldn't wait to get across the bridge and join his brothers. He put his hooves on the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Suddenly, the troll loomed out from under the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He boomed, his belly now rumbling louder than ever. It's me, Big Billy Goat Gruff. Who do you think you are? Now, this Billy Goat Gruff had large hooked horns on top of his head. I'm the troll and I'm going to eat you for breakfast lunch and tea. He swung his heavy up axe. Oh no you're not. Oh yes I am. You'll see. Then the troll rushed at Big Billy Goat Gruff who bent his head low and charged at the troll in return, chasing him up catching him in his horns and tossing him into the stream below. He made an almighty splash and the other two billy goats were laughing before they realised something terrible. The troll disappeared under the rushing water, crying, I can't swim. His head fell below the water as little Billy Goat Gruff grabbed a stick and tried to rescue him. A hand reached up and tried desperately to be saved. The other two also tried to pull the stick so that he could get out of the water. But the troll submerged, never to be seen again. From then on, anyone could cross the bridge and enjoy the sweet green grass with the three billy goats graph. A story, a story, let it go.